Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom, I'm in New Carrollton, Maryland. We're gonna talk about the Purple Line again today. The Purple Line, as you may know if you've watched my last video, is a 16 mile, 21 station light rail line under construction from New Carrollton to Bethesda. Now in the summer, I made a video where I walked and biked across the entire line to show you the construction progress. I'm not gonna do that today because that takes a really long time to film and it is very cold out, but I did come to New Carrollton to show you two things. One is the station is so much farther along than it was six months ago. The signals are on, the screens are on, the signs have been installed, the tiles of the platform have been installed. It's almost done. And actually, the trains are already running on the line as well. I'm talking about test runs, which have been happening at night between New Carrollton and College Park. But today we're going to go see a daytime test run. To go and see it, we have to hop on the bus for a few stops. So I've just taken the bus to the future Beacon Heights Purple Line station and look what's behind me. It's a light rail vehicle for the Purple Line. 28 of them have been built by Spanish company CAF. They've all been delivered to the Purple Line already. They're stored at a maintenance facility not too far from here. Today they're testing during daylight hours. These are the biggest light rail vehicles in the United States. Let's go take a closer look. So while CAF is a Spanish company, these vehicles were built in the United States, specifically at a plant in New York State. They were then delivered here, and they've been doing dynamic testing for a while now, but initially it was just along the Veterans Parkway. The Veterans Parkway is a highway not accessible to pedestrians. However, the maintenance facility for the Purple Line is located along the Veterans Parkway, so it makes sense. In August of 2025, they started running test runs to New Carrollton Station. These test runs were done at night, starting at 9 p.m. In November, the test runs were extended to College Park Station, once again though, at night. I have traveled a couple of times to go try to see them, but never had any luck. So when I heard through some intel that on Monday, December 8th and Tuesday, December 9th, they would be running daytime test runs, I knew I had to try again. And this time I did get lucky. This is my very first time seeing one of these Purple Line light rail vehicles. And I have to say, I really like them. I guess partially I'm just relieved that for once it's a light rail vehicle not built by Siemens. Don't get me wrong, they're very nice, but they are kind of everywhere. I think the purple color scheme of this train is quite bold. It's definitely more eye-catching than a lot of other North American transit vehicles. So this is what it's going to look like when there's trains at the station. It's really exciting. So each light rail vehicle is made up of five segments. They've got six doors per side. The doors have buttons to open them. And uh, let's try to see if we can get a little bit of an idea what the interior will look like. So on the inside, it looks like everything is pretty much done. You've got LED screens showing the time, the date, and the temperature. I'm assuming they'll also show next stop information once they're in passenger service. Stickers with the map, as well as the house rules on board. When I look at the seating, it looks like an emphasis has been made on standing room. There's a few seats facing each other, some folding seats facing the aisles, lots of poles to hang on to. And the seats inside are really the only thing that carry out the purple theme. They don't look very comfortable, to be honest, but I guess most trips on the purple line will probably be pretty short. Moving on to the driver's cab, you'll notice several screens are visible. These trains will not have mirrors, but instead they will have cameras so the driver can see what's happening alongside the train. This is a pretty standard feature for modern light rail vehicles. I'm guessing this thing that's all wrapped up is going to be a big pylon that says purple line or beacon heights or something like that because it's clearly purple. So all the trains have been delivered and the line is pretty much done all through Prince George's County. I mean, it's done enough that they can run test trains from New Carrollton all the way to College Park. Yet we have to wait two more years before the Purple Line will start revenue service. Now online, I'm seeing some people say, why not just run shorter service from New Carrollton to College Park earlier? Why not open it earlier? And I'm sure that there are some challenges with doing so. I'm assuming you have to hire and train enough staff, but I kind of understand the feeling. I'm like, we've got so much infrastructure that's pretty much ready to go. It feels kind of difficult to accept that we have to wait two more years because another half of the line isn't done yet. Imagine what could be possible 
if you already started limited service, if people started paying some fares, started getting used to the line, started gaining an appreciation for the line, and then you open the whole thing. I couldn't get it on video, but they just tested an announcement and the horn. Oh, so it moved like a foot. Luckily, it was about to do it again, but in the other direction, so I could get it on video. Now, the people that were around the train were mostly wearing high visibility clothing, except for a few people that were just wearing black clothing. And the people in black clothing were the only people who got behind the controls of the vehicle. Now, based on their facial expressions, it seemed like for some of them, this was their very first time at the controls. I don't know. What I do know is that I got footage of it moving. Might not have been far, but it's footage all the same. Thank you so much for watching today. I think it's so cool that I finally got to see these trains in person and in action. I'm extremely excited about the Purple Line opening. I just wish it was sooner. Probably next summer, I'll do another video where I explore the construction progress along the full line. But in the meantime, there's lots of cool content from all over the world coming your way. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome. We'll see you next time.